Images are an excellent way to add some visual interest to your course site. In this video, we're going to create a little visual interest on our own course by creating a banner for the home page. First, we'll use the popular photo sharing site Flickr to find an image we have permission to use. Then we'll make some slight modifications to the image using a free photo editing program called Photoscape. Let's get started. To begin with, we need to do a search for an image. Uh, I'm going to do a search for a winding road because that's roughly what I want for this banner to show the long and winding path that we have towards our goal. And then click the search button or hit enter on your keyboard. And this gets us a list of everything. We can't necessarily use any picture on this page. We need to go to the advanced search and then down at the bottom here where it says Creative Commons we want to only search within the Creative Content Commons licensed content and then we're gonna say both uh, content to use commercially and content to modify adapt or build on if we were making a lot of changes to the image or we were inserting the image into a broader context we might just go with content to adapt uh, modify or build on, but we're not going to be making some huge changes, so we're going to start out with just to use commercially and see what we can get. So hit search again, and now you see it says it's showing Creative Commons licensed content for commercial use, adaptation, modification, or building on. And then I can scroll down this list, uh, this page of images, until I find something that I think looks pretty good. Now I've actually already found one on the page that I think suits our needs pretty well. So what I would like to do here is just do a right click and see this says this photo has some rights reserved and I'm going to just click on this to check what the rights are and it says I'm free to share, uh, to remix, and to make commercial use of the work provided I include attribution. So let's grab this image. Right click again and I want to pull the original. Uh, the original is going to be in most cases a very large image. See here this is pretty big uh, and that provides me with a little extra flexibility when I am editing. If you don't need a very large image the banners can be kind of large. If you don't need a very large image you can go with a smaller uh, size and then look at the size and see how it works for you. So I am going to download this image. Uh, if I click on this, see, so pops up. Do you want to save it? I'm going to save this file, and I've got a folder going on my desktop for this class. See, I've been working with this image already, so we'll do. Now I've saved the image and let's get to editing. So let's open up Photoscape. I want to click editor because I'm going to edit the picture that I uh, just downloaded and then I need to locate the image. It's under this case I put it desktop under teaching online banners here we see the image click on that there we go um, now I'm gonna to wanna to do a few things to this image I'm gonna to wanna to crop it so that it is more of a banner uh, wider than it is tall uh, I'm gonna to wanna to size the image so that it's a good width for a blackboard page and not like super huge that makes folks have to scroll uh, all the way to the right to see the, the edges uh, and just like make the page in general way too wide. Uh, I'm going to want to put uh, a label teaching online the name of the course on my banner and then I'm also going to need to include a photo credit. Remember Paraflyer uh, said we can use this image provided we say it's his image. So uh, the first thing to do here is crop. So under these editing tools I'm going to click crop and now I'm just going to draw a box that's actually pretty good, but you see I can click and drag up or down, adjust these, uh, the width here so that I have a nice uh, shape for my banner. Uh, and then I'm just going to click 
crop here. I could click save cropped area and that would save out the, sp the, the space that I have cropped as a separate file uh, automatically, but I'm just going to hit crop here. So now I've got a nice width um, or at least dimensions. Now I want to change the, the width because uh, 1280 uh, pixels is is really wide. It's good for some things, but it's not good for a banner in Blackboard, and it's really not good for content inside Blackboard. So uh, under the Home tab, here I have Resize, and um, I have a bunch of default uh, widths uh, that I can choose from. 800 is a good one for a banner. Uh, if you're doing something inside a Blackboard page, uh, I would recommend four or five hundred for a nice uh, wide enough without being too wide. So I'm going to go with 800. You see that shrinks it down a bit. Now we need to put that text on here. Uh, I like white text, um, but you see there's a lot of visual stuff going on in this image. Uh, lots of different colors and shading and stuff. So even if I were to do uh, black text, it might be hard to read. So to make the text more readable, what I'm going to do is throw a black box, a uh, black strip across the bottom of the image that's going to be somewhat translucent so you can still see the picture through. This is really easy to do. I just uh, go to the Objects tab and then click on the Draw a Box button. And then here under Opacity, I drag the slider to a spot where uh, I think it's probably going to look pretty good. Um, if it's all the way to the right, it's going to be just a black box that you can't see through. If it's all the way to the left, it's going to be an invisible box. So I'm going to go a little bit less than half and then just draw my box. And you see that's dark, so I can probably see some white text on that pretty clearly. Uh, if I didn't like this, I could undo and then adjust to make it darker and then draw again. Um, yeah, maybe let's go with that a little darker. Um, you notice when I click this here, if I didn't want to do a black box, I could do a garnet box, for example. Um, but that's a little too orangey. So uh, I'm going to go back to the basic black. And now I'm going to throw in my text. The T stands for text. And you see here I've got was working on this before, so I'd written in teaching online. Uh, this is going to be a little big, so I'm going to need to size this down. So let's say maybe 50. Mm, I could probably go a little bigger than that. Let's try 54. Uh, I can select whatever font that I want. I like this, this Sego UI font because it's nice and clean looking, uh, but that's just a personal preference. I can do bold, italic, underline. Uh, I can also adjust the opacity of my text. I want. Click OK. And now I can drag this around, put it in the corner here. And this. There we go. Very nice. And now I need to do my um, attribution. So do text again. And now I need to say photo credit Flickr user para flyer via creative. Commons. So this is how folks know that this is okay for us to use. And I'm going to do 12 point font. Big enough to read, but not so big that it is overpowering. I'm going to throw this in the bottom corner here, like so. I think that looks pretty sharp. So let's save it. Click Save. Now I have a bunch of save options here. I can just save it, and that will replace my originally saved image with this one. I can save too if I wanted all of the stuff that I saved to go into a particular folder. I could save in the designated folder. I like doing save as. Uh, now this option, this says do I want to make my image bigger because when I drew this box, the box hung, around, uh, hung outside of the edges of the image and it's saying well if you want to get that I need to make the box bigger but I don't. I just I want to crop that off so I'll say no. And now we will call this Teaching Online Banner. 
I can also select a different type of file. JPEG is great for photographs. Uh, Ping is also pretty good for photographs that include these uh, graphical elements, but Ping files tend to be a little bigger than JPEGs. Uh, GIFs, or some folks say GIFs, are uh, best for clip art type stuff. Uh, bitmaps and TIFFs are more archival and they tend to be very large file sizes. So JPEG it is. Save. It's prompting me uh, what kind of quality do I want to save at. It recommends 95 or more. 95, that's fine. OK. And I'm all saved. Now let's upload this into the course site. So we'll flip back to our web browser and pull up Blackboard. Here we have the course. Uh, I need to go under teaching style, which is under the customization heading you see here. Uh, scroll down to the bottom, select banner, browse my computer. You need to locate the folder if you haven't been in that folder recently. Click on your banner, open, and then submit. And now when I go back to the announcements page, I have my lovely banner.